This process does void any warranties, returns, and it can result in a dead panel. I take no responsibility for what you do. This video is simply here to show you my process of how I remove the anti-glare coatings from a few of my panels. Most laptop panels these days come with anti-glare coatings. The panel on the right is with the anti-glare layer, and on the left is after we remove it. The problem with these coatings is that it's an extra layer on top of the screen, creating a blurry haze, reducing vibrancy, contrast, and sharpness. Fortunately, this coating can be removed very simply with household products. All you need is some warm water, a spraying bottle, a roll of toilet paper, lint-free cloth, and around 6 hours of your time. Get your panel and make sure all the cables are disconnected. Insulate any ports or sockets to prevent any water seeping in. Now as you can see here, I insulated my 40 pin connector socket with electrical tape. This is to make sure it doesn't get wet or any of the water seeps in. You can see in the corner, that is where the anti-glare layer starts. And I tried to pry it with my nail, but that clearly didn't work, so instead I went for the soaking method. Anyway, you want to start covering the panel with the toilet paper. Just do one layer at a time, just make sure it overlaps each other so there's no chances of the water going onto any components. I would say doing around three layers is enough. You don't need too many. Once the toilet paper is soaked, you want to leave it for around 4 hours. You don't really need more than that. You can leave it just to make sure, but mine, my anti-glare layer started peeling very very easily at around 4 hours. And here we go, 4 hours later, you can see the edge has already started peeling off by itself, which is a great sign, so now we can just grab the edge and start peeling. If it doesn't give way, then you may want to give it a bit more time or a bit more water but mine is coming off very nicely so you can see extreme reflection which is what we wanted nice glossiness no more matte yuck look at that now we may have the anti-glare layer off that is not the final step actually you can see this panel is already attracting a lot of dust and it doesn't actually come off easily so now we just need to remove the excess residue that's what it is and we do this with some glass cleaner that's what, at least what I use I think you could just use warm water as well but you want to make sure you use the right cloth it's very important that the cloth is lint free otherwise you may end up scratching the monitor you want to be very careful that you use the right cloth As you rub the lint-free cloth, the residue will start spreading around the monitor, making it look horrible. But take your time, it doesn't take too long anyway. It took me around 8 minutes to rub all of the residue off. Just using the lint-free cloth, glass cleaner or warm water just does the trick. Don't put too much pressure on them, you don't want to scratch the monitor with the residue on the lint-free cloth. And if you do build up excess residue on the lint-free cloth, you want to wash it. Just run the cloth under the tap and rub it with your hands. There's no need to wash it in the washing machine. A quick rub under the tap for one minute should get the residue out. You don't want to rub the residue around the monitor causing too much friction which could eventually scratch the monitor. This is the last step of the removal but I did film it from start to finish for you guys just so you could see how long it actually took me. 